Hey internet, Couchy Potato here. For this video, I'm going to show how to use a program called Debloater to prevent OTA over the air updates from being installed on your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This video on using Debloater to stop OTA updates applies to most Android devices. You just need to disable a different file than the one I'm doing. A Google search will let you know which file to disable to stop OTA updates for your phone. So you can actually follow along with this video even if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Okay, let's begin. You can get Debloater from this XDA Dev Forum post link. The link is also in the description. Scroll down at the page and click the full install download link. Scroll down and click the download link for the latest version of Debloater Setup 3.9.exe. Save it on a directory you can easily locate. Run the file. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next, Install, Finish, Start Debloater. What Debloater does is allow you to forcefully disable programs from starting up on your phone. The program we are going to disable is the one that downloads and auto installs the OTA update. Turn on your phone if it isn't already on. I'm going to turn on airplane mode to prevent the OTA update from sneakily downloading itself and installing. Go to apps, settings, about device, We're going to enable developer options. Keep tapping build number until you see a message saying developer mode is on. This is the same for most Android phones. Now go back, developer options, check the USB debugging option, plug in the USB data cable. Make sure you are plugging into a USB 2.0 port. A USB 3.0 or USB hub may give you problems. The phone should ask if you want to allow USB debugging. Press OK. OK, with the USB data cable plugged in, wait for the computer to detect the phone. You should get this message once it detects. Click OK. Click the top left where it says Read Device. Debloater should read every program package installed on the phone, allowing you to disable any program. Be careful with this because if you disable a critical system program, your phone may not be able to boot. Since I'm working with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, the package we want to disable is sync mldm.apk. Disabling this program package prevents over the air updates from automatically installing itself on the Note 4. If you are following this guide, wanting to disable the OTA updates for another type of phone, a simple Google search like disable OTA insert phone here should lead you to a forum post telling you what to disable. Okay, let's go scroll and look for the file. Sync mldm.apk. Put a check mark on the file. Remember, this is for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Also, write a note on the name of the package in case you want to enable OTA updates again in the future. Click Apply. Once again, for different phones, just Google search what packages are needed to disable OTA updates. It's that simple. 
Now restart your phone and disable airplane mode. And that's it. Now you don't have to worry about over-the-air updates installing itself on your phone and getting rid of root or version of Android you like. The cool thing about disabling OTA updates with dBloater is you don't need to root and it's reversible. Should you want to have OTA updates enabled again, just pop in your phone and uncheck the package that was disabled.